The Russia-Ukraine war entered its second year in February 2023. Ukraine and its allies hoped it would be defined by Ukraine's ambitious counteroffensive to liberate its occupied territory. But it has ended with doubts about continuing American aid and Russia now back on the offensive. While Ukraine prepares for the counteroffensive, the first months are dominated by the fight for the eastern city of Bakhmut as Russia continues to throw tens of thousands of troops into the battle. Bakhmut finally falls to Russia after nearly a year of fighting, Russia suffering tens of thousands of casualties but also costing Ukraine heavily. In early June, armed with Western equipment, Ukraine finally launches its long-awaited counteroffensive, mostly focused at three points on the southern front line. Then, something hugely unexpected happened. Yevgeny Prigozhin, head of the Russian private military company, the Wagner Group, declares a mutiny against Russia's military. Prigozhin marches on Moscow, the most serious challenge Vladimir Putin has ever faced to his rule. But just outside Moscow, Prigozhin turns back after making a deal with Putin. Two months later, Prigozhin is dead, killed when a bomb brings down his plane. Three months into Ukraine's counteroffensive, it becomes clear it's failed, managing only to advance a few miles and making no significant breakthrough. With Ukraine's counteroffensive exhausted, Russia launches its own in the east, the biggest since the winter of 2022, focused mainly on the strategic city of Avdivka and further north near Kupinsk. US military aid for Ukraine also begins to run out, and far-right Republicans are reluctant to approve more. By the end of the year, US funding for Ukraine largely runs out. By now, Ukrainian forces are suffering increasingly dire ammunition shortages. Russia finally captures Avdivka, the first Ukrainian city to fall in nearly a year. Russia is now pressing its offensive elsewhere. Both sides are racing to try to rebuild to regain the upper hand. But as the war enters its third year, the question looming over everything is will the US stay with Ukraine? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.